So this is probably the best quality set of cookware that you can buy in the world. Today I'm gonna to unbox the Demeyer Atlantis 10-piece set. Hi, I'm Jed, this is Cook Culture. So Demeyer cookware, made in Belgium, owned by a big, big brand called Zwilling, arguably one of the best, if not the best, stainless steel maker of cookware in the world. This is the 10 piece set of Atlantis. Uh, I'm gonna show you what comes in this box. I'm not gonna show you any cooking with them. I have other videos that I've done cooking with Atlantis. I'm just gonna show you today why this is such a, a perfect set of cookware. If you're starting from scratch and you want all of the basics and you just wanna build a really great foundation and you want it to save money, a box set can be an excellent way to start. And so I'm gonna now open this box and go through each piece that in here and explain to you why I think it's so well composed and also make some suggestions on some pieces that I think would go well with this set. So, time to open the box. So it comes with a 7.9 inch fry pan, so basically an eight inch, and it comes with a 9.4, so a nine and a half inch uh, fry pan. So it comes with two fry pans. And this guy here, so it comes with all of its cardboard on it still. So that is your eight inch fry pan. So that's the, what they call the pro line. So I'll explain to this in a second while I get this guy out here. So, and here is your other nine and a half inch fry pan. So got these two guys here. So basically, you know, that, that kind of size. So two really nice, small to medium, small fry pans. These are a seven ply frying pan. And in Atlantis, they have what they call ProLine and the Atlantis. So in a box, it comes with fry pans that not, aren't actually the Atlantis line, but they go very, very well with Atlantis. And the difference is that this is a seven ply aluminum, aluminum alloy mixture of layers. So there's seven layers of a clad cookware and the sandwiching, all of the materials comes right up to the edge. And that is a lot like all clad cookware, like, like all clad, but cladding cookware. Um, it's just layers and layers and layers stamped into shape. Um, what's really awesome with all the Meyer, but especially in the Atlantis line, is that there's, there's no rivets. They have a, a really tremendous bonding process of how they have the handles attached to the bodies, and these do not and will not come off. They're of course guaranteed not to come off, but I have never, ever, ever seen one come off. Uh, so this is a, what I think is a superior way to make a pan of this kind of quality with no rivets. Um, so wonderfully heavy, like this is not cookware that people are like, oh, I want light and quality. They, light and quality don't usually go hand in hand. Um, this is heavy, this is heavyweight cookware. This is like, you know, cast iron type weight. Um, you know, especially this, this nine inch pan, that is a hefty, hefty pan. Um, so if weight is a concern to you, this is not your cookware. Uh, if quality is a concern to you, this is your cookware. Uh, so really fantastic fry pans that come with it. So one of the pans in which people will buy as an extra on here is a 12 inch frying pan also. So some people will do, you know, the eight and the nine and a half that come in here. There is also an 11 and then a 12, a 12 and a half. Uh, and some people will jump right up to the 12 and a half. That's sold quite often as a extra piece when somebody buys a set. So those are the frying pans uh, and beautiful piece in the pro line. Now we'll move into the, the vessels uh, that are all in the Atlantis series. Okay, so from going to smallest to largest, we now have a little, they call it a Dutch oven, but this is like a, a, a stew pan. So it's a little 2.3 quart stew pan and really nice little size 
um, great for everyday work. So I'll explain to you now how Atlantis works because all the other pieces are the same. So when you understand this piece, you'll understand all the pieces. Um, so the difference between Atlantis and Proline is that the Atlantis is what's called a bonded cookware or it's got an encapsulated base to it. So this is not a clad cookware. And usually you'll find is that a, a, a piece of cookware with an aluminum disc stuck to the bottom, encapsulated cookware, is less expensive cookware. It's, it's cheap to make. They'll make a simple stainless steel body. They will make an aluminum disc and attach it to the bottom. And it's as simple as that. Um, cladding is much more expensive. Adding material into it is much more expensive. So the, the bodies that is actually just a thin, thinner piece of stainless steel, it's not over, overly thick, was made to add as much lightness as they possibly could because it didn't need the, the thickness to the walls. It didn't need to add weight in the walls. They found that they, there was no conductivity benefit to having a conductive materials in the, the body of the cookware. So they put it all into the bottom. And in the bottom is really quite extraordinary. So this is a stainless steel uh, disc. Inside the disc is copper, a copper disc, like a flat piece of copper inside that is sandwiched by silver. So there is copper and silver with the stainless steel wrap. And so the conductivity is really like using, you know, a combination of silver and copper, which is pretty extraordinary. So when I use this, say on induction, the heat uptake and the distribution and the balance to this is better than anything I've used. You know, so my copper cookware that I grew up with, that is great. I can't use it actually on induction, but when I do use it on, on a really high quality gas, it's great, it works well, but it actually doesn't work anywhere near as well as what I get the performance with this, especially when I match it with induction. Induction and, and Demeyer, and especially Atlantis, they do go hand in hand. They are really amazing. Something I haven't said yet is that Atlantis cookware, and Demeyer specifically, was designed in Europe. In Europe, they use a lot of induction. Many, many, many people use induction in their homes, and they made this cookware designed to work incredibly well on induction. And you know, arguably, nothing else is made to work on induction as well as Demeyer. And the encapsulated base on the Atlantis cookware works extraordinarily well that way. You know, it works also very well on gas and halogen and regular coil range. It will work great, but you get that extra, pretty significant benefit of matching this to induction. So. This is the, the little, what they call their Dutch oven. And so we'll move on now to some of the bigger pieces. Okay, so next is the 3.2 quart uh, saucepan. And this is three liter saucepan, 3.2 quart. This is a really, really handy size. It's, you know, that step up from that little Dutch oven that we had before. And using them both together is great. You've got something nice little simmering away. This is a really great working pan. Again, it's not overly heavy uh, because it doesn't have that much material in the body. It, it's heavy weight on the bottom. It's a heavy weighted pan, but it's really not too bad when I go to lift this for the immense quality that you get out of the disc, like I was saying before. So this is a, a really beautiful piece. Uh, we sell this piece really, really well as open stock. So it's just one of our top selling pieces in the three liter, also the four liter. Um, you can get a steamer basket that fits inside of here that people love in the three liter. Um, so it's a great combination. And so that is a, a fantastic piece and it makes a lot of sense to me of why they would put it into the set. So now we're gonna move on to probably one of the most versatile pieces in this entire collection. The 4.8 liter, the 5.1 quart saute pan. So this is a, a very, very popular piece. Um, it's just a pretty uh, pricey individual pan. Uh, it it kind of shocks me how well we do sell this pan but it's really, it sells itself. We have many people that buy this pan and then they have other family members that buy this pan and it's almost like it just sells the pan itself. But this piece here is so incredibly useful uh, and it's got a fantastic volume. So, you know, it can do a fairly large meal, but being that it's an 11 inch, it's not very large on your stovetop. It's getting pretty heavy, you know, for, for one hand, you know, that's, a, that's solid. Really, really handy to have the handle helper in this piece. 
you got that loaded up, you've got your lid on there, you've got it full of food, you got your handheld helper, that makes life really easy. Uh, even off the front burner, you just want that extra support. So this is one of these pieces that you will have and cherish and be an heirloom and you will use all the time. So it's, it's outside of maybe the nine and a half inch fry pan, it's an absolute everyday go-to workhorse of a piece. It's, it's just absolutely brilliant. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the last piece of the set. Okay, so the last piece is the eight liter, 8.5 quart stock pot. And this is arguably a, a piece that you, you may not exactly have to have. Um, it's a, it's a, you could say that it's a little bit of overkill, but being that it comes in the set and the value to get you from the set, it's one of those pieces that everybody that I know that buys the set is just thankful that they get to have it. Because you may, and if you want to, to save money when you're buying cookware, you know, buy a less expensive stock pot and you may or may not really notice a difference. But when you do have a pot like this and the way that it's gonna work from starting to, to cook up, say, a, a stew or a soup, you know, having the quality of the base of this piece is extraordinary. It's, it's, a, it's a luxury. Um, so this is a, a very, very useful piece. Maybe not a piece that you're gonna go to every single day, you know, and for boiling pasta, it's kind of the same as, as any other stock pot. But for, for those that are gonna really put this set of cookware to use, this is a fantastic piece. So that is the entire set. It's my favorite composition of, of many sets. They're similar. Sometimes you don't get that really nice big saute pan. Uh, that's something that is fantastic in this set, I think. As I've said, I really think that saute pan is a, is a major win uh, in this set. And all the other pieces are just so incredibly useful. So, okay, so as I was saying earlier, the 12 and a half inch fry pan, frying pan, is really popular when people are buying the set. Uh, you know, this is a, a pretty massive unit, so people with bigger families, they find this is a really, really, really handy piece. You know, if you're only cooking for two, this is way overkill, but you know, if you've got four or more, this finds its home. Uh, so, really, really popular. So another piece that people seem to really like with the set, this is a 4.75 liter rounded conical saucepan. Uh, so this is just an extremely versatile workhorse. It's a larger piece that you can do, you know, pasta in it. If you just want a small amount, you can do stews and soups. Fits at the back of the stove really nicely and out of the way with having the two smaller handles. So it develops really well if you're doing something like a roux where you're working the side of the pan and you're using a spatula or a whisk in it. The rounded pans are just very easy to get into, you know, the, the, the rounded edges here. Uh, and it's just a very, very friendly pan to use. So this one has, it's a, it's a newer pan in the line and it's become more and more popular. So those are two pieces that go very, very well as extra pieces to the set. So I hope that unboxing helped you uh, understand visually what is inside of a 10 piece set of Atlantis Proline cookware. Uh, it's a beautiful set, as I've said many, many times. I'm a big fan of the composition of them. And if you have any questions, please throw them below. Thanks so much.